Guys, ever tried to breathe new life into old photos? I mean, it can be pretty frustrating when the results don't match your expectations, right? Well, today we're diving into the world of photo colorization and restoration. We're gonna explore the common pitfalls and show you a tool that just might change the game. So stick around to see how this tool is gonna to impress. Back in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seeing Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, this is VideoProc AI Converter by Digiarty. Now guys, this tool is jam-packed with other features, including stabilization, super resolution, and frame interpolation. And for the best part, you can try it all for free. Now, before we get into it, you know, DigiRT Video Proc Converter sent me this software in return for my honest opinion. And guys, you know that whatever I review, you're always gonna get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So let's take a look and see what we've actually got here. We're gonna to go to the website, first of all, and we're gonna download and install Video Proc Converter AI. Now guys, once installed, there's a bit of optimizing that happens to check out your system, and more importantly, your GPU, as Video Proc Converter AI tries to utilize all the hardware resources it can for efficiency. Now, once that's complete, you're into the UI, and look at this UI, it's simple guys. Very user-friendly, you do not need a tech degree here. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of different tools, but, the focus of this video is the image AI feature, which uses AI models to clean up, enhance, and upscale your images, as well as the colorization feature, which can take black and white photos and add back color and depth that often gets lost in those old photos. And you know what? Even if the information is not there at all, it can still add that color and depth. So this is pretty amazing stuff. So anyway, the first picture I'm loading is, well, one of me and my mum. And in case you're wondering, I'm the one on the left. A quick look at the UI and we can select what AI model we're gonna use. We have options to scale up to four times. We can also set resolution and we get the option to enhance the image. And below that, we also have this face restoration option and the colorization. So you know what, there's a lot to do here. So we're gonna go over all of those features in just a second in, in some different photographs. But here, we're gonna take a look at the enhanced image first. Now, I've got the AI model set to default, which is Gen Detail. And by clicking on that, immediately you can see the AI enhanced image on the right is so much clearer with a ton more detail. I mean, look at my face and look at the brickwork. I mean, you know, it's amazing. You can actually make this side-by-side -side image into a single image and use the slider to give you even more clarity. Even the pavement has got a ton more detail on it. Now guys, I'm gonna actually select the colorizer this time to see what that does. And look at that. This is a black and white photo that is over 56 years old. And look at the walls and the pavements, even the skin tones and the clothes. I mean, it's nothing short of amazing. Now guys, next up, here's an old picture of me in Cape Town. It's shot in black and white again, and I'm gonna upscale it by four times and export it. Now you can see at the top here, the original picture is 1600 by 1200, and the upscale picture is 6400 by 4800. Now let's have a look at what happens when we apply the colorizer. Single click, AI model gets to work, and look at that, I mean, wow. Blue skies, sea, and you know what? I can tell you for a fact, the coat is actually that color. I mean, it's amazing. This picture is more than 25 years old. Now guys, I'm gonna load in another old picture of me, and you can see that this is a pretty old picture because it doesn't really look much like me, or maybe it does a little bit. But you know what? This one, I wanna take a look at the face restoration mode. So let's select that model, and look at that, another click. 
The face and the hair is incredible. Just a ton of detail that was never there in the original picture. And again, by taking this side-by-side -side image, making it a single image and using that slider option, I can move the slider back and forth. And you can see that VideoProc AI Converter has used its advanced AI processing to analyze the picture and add the required detail. I mean, it's so impressive. And lastly, guys, let's take a look at this very old black and white photo of a friend of mine. Now, first of all, I'm gonna use the enhanced models to sharpen up the entire picture. And now we can see those enhancements. I'm going to use the hyper color colorization mode to add some color. And again, let's click in that AI model. And you know what, look at it. This picture transformation is incredible. So guys, there you have it. A quick look into video Proc Converter AIs, Image AI, and Photo Colorization modes. I mean, it's pretty impressive, I'd say. You can spend hours and hours revving up your old photos. And guys, at the time of this video going live, you can actually either use this for free with some limitations, or you can download a license to suit. And you know what, looking at the most popular, well, for just over 40 pounds, a lifetime license is a bit of a no-brainer. I'll leave any product links and any discount codes in the description. And guys, if you have any questions or comments, then please leave them below. And if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching and thanks to VideoProc for sending me this cool tool to review. I'm Dave with Seen Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.